Hail, hail, the Celts are here, and what the hell do we care now, guys? We have had an amazing month on the channel. I cannot thank all of you enough for your support on the transfer speculation videos, the breaking news, the so rare CSC live streams, the podcasts, everything in between we've been doing. It's great to see the views that are coming. It's great to see the comments, how much you guys are enjoying. Maybe some of you don't totally agree with some of the stuff, which is fantastic, but you are subscribing, you are getting involved with the channel, and you are telling me that you are really enjoying it. And honestly, for me and everyone here, the Celtics are here team, we cannot thank you enough for all the support. It really does mean the world to us. And we've got a massive goal. We would love to get to 10,000 subscribers before the new European season starts. So if you do enjoy the content, you enjoy the video today or any of our videos that you catch, we really do appreciate it if you would subscribe, like and share with your friends and retweet and you know, all that good stuff. It goes a long way. And when we hit these milestones, there's always giveaways in the offing. So thanks again for all your support to this point. It really does mean a lot to us. And we're really looking forward to a massive season on the channel with all of you guys. And at the moment, the most common question I'm getting from everyone is, Quinny, what is this so rare thing that you do? It seems a bit complicated. You seem to be making money out of it. How does it work? Should I get involved? How much is it? Is it too expensive? Is it complicated? Is it a scam? all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd make as brief and concise a video as is humanly possible to tell you all the basics. Go around all the basic bases here just so you can understand what's going on, what it is, and why it is really changing football for fans all across the world, particularly clubs like Celtic. Everything will be timestamped, so if there's a particular section you want to get to, feel free to check out the timestamps in the description of the video. But ultimately, if you do go on to start playing so rare by clicking on the link that's in the description of this video or that's in the pinned comment, you're going to get a free limited card once you've bought five from the market. It's the best way to sign up. It's the way that everyone signs up. If you sign up to so rare and you don't get a free card once you've bought five, you are one card worse off than everyone else. But by doing so, not only will you get yourself that free card, you can keep it, you can sell it, you can do whatever you want with it. But yeah, just support me, the Celts are here, and all the content that we're making. So by clicking on that link, you help yourself and you support the channel. So if you do enjoy the content, you do go on to play the game, then please do click that link and sign up directly. If you do get stuck, if you've got any questions, jump into the comment section of the video and I'll come and sort you out. The best place to start with this is what is so rare? Now there's two things. There's so rare the company and there's so rare the game. So rare the game is global five-a-side football. I'll explain more about the cards and how the game works in a minute, but that's all the game is. You collect cards from your favorite teams, your favorite players from around the world. You assemble them into a five-a-side fantasy football team and depending on what divisions and what competitions you enter, you can win money, more so rare cards, money can't buy experiences directly from the football clubs, signed shirts and everything else in between. And that's it. That's the game. It's really simple on the surface level of that. So Rare the company is about five or six years old and I've been aware of So Rare and I've been playing the game now for three years. In the last three years, So Rare has went from being a company, when I found it, of about 800 people playing it all the way up now to hundreds of thousands. The cards that So Rare sell that run on the fantasy football game are NFTs. Now you've maybe heard of NFTs and I promise you everything you've heard about NFTs, none of it applies to SoRare. SoRare is the case of what makes this technology good and why people were able to exploit it in these other cases that you've probably heard of that is a rug pull, a, croc a, a con, you know, these other things. Because what that technology allows you to do is it allows you to digitally own things. If you've ever played FIFA or Football Manager, you've never owned a player in that sense, the way you would a Soraya card. The way you own a Soraya card is the same way you would own a physical card if you went and got a packet of paninis or a packet of tops, because I own this. I own this. You can see it. I can touch it. There's no two ways about it. When it comes to the digital world, that's not as possible until the NFT technology has came out. So that's what makes the so rare cards extra special, extra different, is it's digitally ownable, which is what gives the cards value because they are a real asset. So rare can't delete it. They can't take it off you. They can't just make a million more of them tomorrow. There's four types of cards. Every player that has a license on so rare will get every season. Unlimited, which there will be a maximum of a thousand of. A rare, which there'll be a maximum of a 100 of. A super rare, which is a maximum of 10 per season. And then a unique, which is a maximum of one per season. Now for super rares, rares and limiteds, so rare will sell half of them. And then the other half they give out as rewards. 
The limited cards, because there's a thousand of them every season, they are by far and away the cheapest, and of course the uniques are the more expensive. Depends on what cards and what divisions you'll play will dictate exactly how much money can be won, how, how high quality of a card can be won as well. And you also get common cards, which are white, and are free. You can't sell them or do anything with them, but I recommend everyone plays with them. I play with them. I use them as scout players, but I recommend everyone plays with the white cards to just learn the ropes. And because of that technology, because they are really bringing together what I've always enjoyed as a football fan from, football manager from FIFA, from stickers and cards, they really bring that together into one place thanks to the technology and the official partnerships they have. So Celtic who have cards on Soraya, PSG, Real Madrid, all the big leagues in the world are on it now. It's official merchandise. So when Soraya sell cards, all these clubs and leagues are making money. Celtic are making money. Celtic cards can sell for a lot of money because Celtic are the best team in Scotland, don't you know? And because the way the Soraya works, we're one of the best teams in the world. And because this is like nothing that's ever been done before and it's finally something that can be done, they've had unprecedented backing and support and investment from the biggest hedge funds and all that kind of stuff in the world through all their funding as they've grown as a company. They've broken all sorts of European records. They're in the process now of actually of really shaping the regulation around all this stuff because it is trailblazing. It has never been done before. And it is so innovative and it is so exciting that Lionel Messi is an official brand ambassador. And if you see the way Lionel Messi does business, he's probably got a wee bit of a cut in on the action. Kylian Mbappe, Zinedine Zidane, Gerard Piquet, all these guys have been in with the company and joined on as ambassadors and partnered in with them as well. And these guys that started so rare are just like me, really. You know, I've met enough of them. They're all in their mid-30s. They're all diehard football fans. They really just want fans to be closer to football. And, you know, that's probably the last thing I would say about so rare as a company because... They are official commercial partners with the Premier League, the NBA. They have done other sports as well. NBA, baseball, maybe they'll do some other stuff as well. La Liga, Bundesliga, Celtic, Real Madrid, PSG, Barcelona, all the biggest clubs in the world. And whenever you're a commercial partner with these organisations, there's lots of sweeteners and kickbacks that come your way. People that sponsor and advertise with football clubs, that's what they get. What am I talking about? VIP tickets, signed shirts, money can't buy experiences that only the club can offer. This is what they give commercial partners to get more advertising money to them. So when Soria get that stuff, they're not interested in keeping it for directors and for shareholders and for smoozing people. They give it to us. They give it to the football fans. So unlike ever before, Soria really gives all sorts of access to the players and clubs that you love unlike ever before, and it does support the clubs. The clubs make money out of it, you know? Celtic, we are always looking to try and punch above our weight and really connect and express our fan base. You know, we've got one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and Sora has only helped it grow, in my experience. There's lots of fans around the world that were aware of Celtic that now actively buy shirts, actively pay Celtic TV subscriptions around the world to watch games, buy the cards, follow the results every week, tune into the content every week as well. And Celtic are doing tours in Japan to achieve this kind of thing. We've done tours in America previously to do this thing. And so rare is another avenue that Celtic is exploring, is exploiting and is going down. And Craig, who runs the Celtic side here, was also lovely to bring me in to do all the content here. And that's one of the things that he really seen dead quickly is so rare are going to change the game for fans connecting with the clubs. And he wanted this channel to be the one that really trailblazed the kind of so rare Celtic content. So that's the kind of background of what so rare is exactly. And I know I've told you some of the game elements there, but the game and how to play so rare for me, is where all the fun is and where all the magic really is. Now, at the surface level, I've told you about it's five a side and I've told you how the cards work out. But you own the cards for the, their entire career. No one takes them off you. You don't need to restart fantasy football every season. So if you're like me and like fantasy football is kind of naff and a bit boring, everyone's got the same players. And even though you spotted a guy two seasons ago, if you pick him this season, he's not any cheaper or there's no real benefit to that. Never mind all the other tie-ins with other football games like FIFA and Football Manager over the years. It really does bring all that stuff together. So I had like Kyogo at Fur I had Kyogo Furuhashi at Vissel Kobe. I kept that card. I had Jota at Benfica. I kept that card. They play for Celtic and I get to have a real good bit of fun with that. And because the cards are assets, you know, you do own them just like I own 
these things here, just like I own this top, I can sell them if I want to, these things here, that part of football manager, that part of ultimate team where you find a guy that's undervalued or you find a guy that's going to be the next big thing and they, they, they come good, you can really profit from your football knowledge in that sense, you know, because when you buy a card on Soria, because you do need to buy the cards, good football players cost a lot more money than might be good football players or everyone thinks this guy's rubbish. A lot of people really enjoy that. For me, I really enjoy watching Celtic smash, watching Celtic kill 4 or 5 nil, and I've managed to get some really big Celtic cards. It means when Celtic win, I win, which is great. So rare really is one of these unicorn situations because it feels like every aspect of the game is game-changing. It's revolutionary. And the scoring matrix is the next thing that makes me think that. Every player scores between 0 and 100. And the score basically is chopped into two segments. You've got a decisive score. Every player that starts a game gets 35 points. If you come on as a sub, you get 25. If you score a goal, make an assist, clear the ball off the line, like a mass man tackle, that's a positive decisive action and you'll move up the decisive ladder from 35 to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, depending on how many of those things you do in sequence. There's negative decisive actions that will move you backwards on the chain, an own goal, a red card, an error led to goal, penalty conceded, and they'll move you down from 60 to 35, 35 to 25, 25 to 15, 10, 0. All the big actions in the game make the biggest change to your score. Now, on the other pillar, we've got a thing called all-around score, or AA. That has got 40, 50 individual actions in the game, and every player, defender, midfielders, and forwards, are scored on all of those actions slightly differently depending on their position of the pitch so that means every player that scores between 0 and 100 has got a real chance of scoring just as good as anyone else because it rewards more players than any other scoring metric you're going to find on fpl fantasy football on sofa score in the newspaper on that other podcast that you listen to or whatever. It is revolutionary. And I think over the next couple of years, so rare scores will be a metric that more and more people identify and use when comparing different players and how good they can be. So it means you don't need Messi. You don't need Mbappe. The best score they can do is 100. Callum McGregor can score 100. Now, there's a series of different divisions depending on what cards you're going to play with. The majority of people that play the game competitively, that want to make money and really have it as a more than a hobby, more more than a hobby, not quite a side hustle, but one of those pastimes that's really engaging and maybe there's a bit of a bit of a payoff for spending so much time in it. They play with rares and super rares predominantly, which are the reds and the blues. So they are payout money and the top position is on the leaderboard if you're smashing out big scores and doing really well. But they also pay out a guaranteed amount of money in a division called Cap 240 if you can hit a set score with a team that hits a set criteria. And for the Limited cards, the really cheap ones that you start off with, if you do that, they pay out $5 every game week. Game weeks are every four days. If it's rares you're playing with, the red cards, it's $50. If it's the blue cards, the super rares, it's $200. If you play with the high roller cards, the blacks, it's $500 a game week. Now, obviously, not as many people play up at that end. The majority of players play with limiteds and rares. You don't need to play with that many cards. I'm a very deep end player. Some people pick up the game, get really excited by it and jump right into the deep end. Lots of players pick up the game, really takes their time because it can be a wee bit overwhelming. There's plenty of stuff that I've not went into in this video today as well that if you want more detailed breakdown on how the game works and how to get into some of the minutia on some of the divisions, strategy and tactics, we'll be covering that here on this channel like every Tuesday in the Sorare CSC. If you're interested in that stuff, all you need to do is drop comments when we're on live and, and we'll pick it up and we'll talk about it. Or you can check out my main channel at Quinny3001 and there's lots of beginner tutorials and explainer videos over there where you can find much more in-depth under the bonnet stuff if you like. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you do have any questions or you do get stuck signing up, like I said, drop a comment down below and I'll come and sort you out. On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Hail, hail, and I'll catch you on the next one.